Hi everyone, Mike here from Robart, and today we're going to be talking about part numbers 154 and 154E. These are 85 degree angle of deployment retracts by Robart. So as you can see, we're going to be talking about part numbers 154 and 154E. Let's start with the 154, which is our pneumatic version. I went ahead and cut open the box right now, and let's show you what you get. Spare parts, or sorry, not spare parts, your axle bag. Your axle bag, these are uh, smooth axles, quarter inch axles, and you do get your two set screws to lock in the axle uh, into the lower oleo. Get your warnings and precautions about our pneumatic systems. Your spare parts list. And you get a pair of mains. I'm just going to go ahead and just open up one of them. Okay, so this is our 150 platform. It's our large giant scale rotating platform. This is for planes weighing in between 20 and 55 pounds. As you can see, this does have the offset oleo on it. This will accommodate up to a six inch wheel. So you have a little over three inches of, spa of space between the lower oleo and the top of the uh, lower oleo here. This is our pneumatic version. Uh, I'm going to do my best to show you, but there is a catch here. And this is what assists to help the uh, strut up in the retracted position. So we'll slip that off. Now you can see the strut in the fully deployed position. This is an 85 degree. So you can see there is a slight angle back on this, uh, this retract. Um, something always to note in our 150s is this lift link here that does go over center and that's what locks out uh, additional lockout for this gear when you come into land. Mm -hmm. The 150 is, like I said earlier, this was uh, this is off of our 150 rotation platform, but as you can see, these are not rotators; these are straight uh, retracts. These will these do not rotate. Uh, fully solid uh, retract, like I said, this will handle planes from 20 to uh, 55 pounds. Let's go ahead and open up the electric one. Same Sorry about that. Same axle bag as before. The smooth quarter inch axles and your two set screws. You get your electric actuator warnings and uh, precautions. Your spare parts list. Our uh, instructions on setting up the uh, electric retracts you get your jumper to go from your radio to the control box this is our larger 177 control box if you have uh, questions on how to set this up what the lights uh, mean and whatnot refer back to the previous video where I go into a lot of detail on these and then you do get a pair of mains. I'm going to, like I said, like I did with the pneumatic one. We're only going to open up one. The same layout as our pneumatic version. Uh, this will accommodate a six-inch wheel, uh, fully strutting, 20 to a 55-pound plane. It's based off of our 150 rotating platform, but these are a 
uh, non-rotating version of it. I'm going to go ahead and operate these. Bear with me for a second as I plug this in. So as stated before, you know, these are an 85 degree angle of deployment. This is our electric version. You have your full lockout in the lift link here. Since this is the electric version, it will come up. And the actuator will assist in holding this. There is no uh, catch lock as there is in the pneumatic version. When we come up and when we retract these retracts, and then it is locked out. So if you have any questions on our 154s, either in pneumatic or in electric, 154 or a 154E, feel free to give us a call at 630-584-7616. Check us out online at www.robart.com or follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.